man-eater fragrances. Uh, if you want to attract the male gaze, there are a few fragrances that can help you do that. Specifically, in my small list here, I'm going to start with a classic. This is Bergamot 22 from Le Labo. Le Labo has produced a variety of very, very high quality fragrances. This is no different. This, from the name Bergamot, is a bergamot fragrance, and this is probably the best fragrance you can wear during the summer. Because it's light, it's citrusy, it's slightly sweet, kind of a natural sweetness. Besides that, it's just, it's classically feminine. It's, despite being a citrus fragrance, which are usually very, very light and they kind of disappear, I would say this is a little bit more on the moderate side. It is still light, but more on the moderate side. So uh, you may have to keep reapply it. Re you may have to keep reapplying it throughout the day, but not as often as other similarly light fragrances. Uh, I think the fact that it's pretty well crafted makes it stick around longer and perform better. Plus, it just smells great. You know, this is what I think of on a summer day. You know, maybe you're going to the beach or having a picnic or something. This is the ideal. It can also work for spring, but of course it really shines in the summer when it's so hot outside and you want to wear something nice and light and refreshing. So this is a very good option. Then another really good kind of daytime, uh, more casual, playful sort of fragrance. You can go for La Vie Belle from Lacombe. This is an extremely, extremely popular fragrance right now uh, among the uh, female fragrance market because it has pretty much everything you could want in a fragrance, a modern modern fragrance especially. It, this is a gourmand fragrance, meaning it's extremely sweet. Uh, the sweet notes primarily come from some fruit notes like black currant, which is a very juicy berry sort of thing. It also has praline, which is a dessert note, so very sugary, caramely, chocolatey sort of thing. Um, so what you're getting is an extremely sweet fragrance, very, very feminine, kind of what you would expect from a feminine fragrance. At the same time, it isn't overwhelming. It's strong, but not overwhelming. It's still balanced, which is most likely why it's such a success in the perfume market. Uh, I know a lot of people who really, really enjoy this. Um, and it's, like I said, a really good daytime fragrance. Um, kind of a bouncy, playful, um, girlish sort of fragrance, uh, youthful, uh, because despite it being strong, it's still, you know, not heavy, not, it's not going to drag you down or anything. I would not recommend wearing this in hot weather because those sweet notes are so strong just on their own. Uh, it could become a little much in hot weather. At least very hot weather, maybe if it's only 70, 80 degrees, it won't matter. But if that's not an issue, then this is fine for all other occasions, uh, for the most part. Then, one of my uh, favorites is Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francisque Jean. This, this is something you would wear to really get attention, because this is an extremely luxurious, quite pricey, uh, top shelf fragrance. Uh, basically anything from this brand, this French brand, high quality stuff. This is, you know, this is no joking around. This is the good stuff. The thing about Baccarat Rouge, first of all, it's extremely famous and for a good reason. It uses several different notes that are known to be rare, luxurious, and, you know, smell great. Specifically, ambergris, which is a marine musk note. Saffron, which is a rare and expensive spice. Um, it also has cedar, which of course is a very delicious wood note. Uh, I believe fir, fir wood, is in there as well. In general, this is... It's interesting because when you put it on, it's both spicy and sweet at the same time. I've said in previous videos that this is, it reminds me at least, a little bit of creme brulee, kind of a burnt sugar sweetness. So not your typical sweetness, 
not quite like La Vie Belle. A little more, uh, a little more earthy, a little more um, sophisticated, more developed. And besides that sweetness, the, the spice, that warmth from the ambergris and the saffron especially, make this a very unique fragrance. This is something you could wear easily to, to get plenty of attention, plenty of compliments, because it is so different from most other fragrances. Um, plus it's, you know, you could easily show off just with this brand alone. Then, for something a little more casual, but still very elegant, you could go for Ar Armani C. So this is a vanilla fragrance with some notes of rose, freesia, wood notes, and then um, some patchouli. So what you're getting here is primarily a light fragrance, light and feminine, most of all. The vanilla note is the most striking, the most noticeable note here, um, which is very pleasant. I wouldn't say the vanilla note is as strong as it is in La Vie Belle because that has a very sugary vanilla note. This is sweet, but not quite as sugary. Uh, more of a natural vanilla mixed with that rose, which is a very nice, feminine, um, pleasant fragrance. Then also the greenness of the patchouli and the wood notes ground the fragrance, smooth it out, make sure it's not too sweet, too, too much of anything. So it's nice, grounded, balanced option here. And like I said, this is good for the daytime, especially because it is just designed to be more of a kind of daytime casual fragrance. Uh, but you could also wear this in the evening. Um, you know, it's in general a nice smelling fragrance, so you can't really go wrong with it, no matter when or where you wear it. Then, the last fragrance I have on my list is also on my kind of top 10 list here. This is Ambre Nuit from Dior. This is a unisex fragrance. It's quite heavy compared to these previous ones in the fact that it's uh, pretty kind of velvety, kind of, uh, I believe it has pink pepper in it. It has a really nice citrus opening, then some pink pepper in the middle, and I believe some wood notes in general. It's a very warm fragrance. Kind of, kind of reminds me a little bit of winter, kind of that crackly, warm, kind of fireplace feeling. It's not a smoky fragrance, um, but it is still that sense of warmth from the smell itself, which is it makes it a very cozy, very attractive uh, fragrance. And because it is a heavier fragrance, it's very long lasting. Um, so you don't have to worry about reapplying it. You just put it on once and it's good for as long as you need it, uh, which is an extra bonus, of course. Plus the projection is quite nice. I would say moderate projection, uh, not too strong, not too weak. So you're really getting everything you could want from this fragrance, uh, of course, if you like heavier fragrances. So that's pretty much what I have to say about these particular uh, perfumes. If you have anything to say about them, you can always leave a comment down below. If you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.